It's Officer James. Hi. Hi. Um, so I was just calling to see if there's any information you can provide me that you think would be beneficial. Um, what I know, um, Shanann and I are really close friends, so she's confided in me a lot that Things have been not so good between her and Chris. Okay. Um, last night, we were... I, I'm sorry, night before last. It's all blurring to me because we've been traveling and I'm in different time zones. Right. So forgive me. But it was... Um, it was, I think, Saturday evening. Um, Sunday, Sunday evening. She shared that um, she was trapped and she thought he might. I'm sorry, your phone's breaking up. Okay, sorry about that. Um, she, she expressed on Sunday night that she was concerned that he was having an affair. Okay. Was this um, just to you that she told you that to? Um, me and... Nikki and Cindy was there also, and we all kind of thought, no, you know, there's there's no way that Chris would do that. You know, they seemed like just such a perfect couple, but I also knew over the past couple of weeks, she's been really just trying to save her marriage because he's been saying things like he didn't want the baby, um... He didn't, she had canceled their um, baby, their gender reveal party. They were, you know, getting a, a lot of friends together to reveal the, ge the gender of the baby. And she canceled that because he was just not there. He just was not wanting this baby. Um... I mean, these are all just red flags for me right now. I, I don't. I. She told you this personally. Hard. I'm sorry. She told you this personally. Yes. Okay, so I know that all you girls have been talking. So okay. if you heard it from someone else, just kind of clue me into that, so I don't write down in my report that. She told you, oh, and in fact, does that does that make sense? That she told you when someone yeah, else it's, made sense. It's hearsay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and a lot of the, a lot of what she told me, we were in a we were in a group this weekend. Okay. We were all together in Arizona. Right. So we were in, it, Cindy. It was um, Cassie, Cindy, Nikki, and I okay. were all together. Makes sense. Um, there's a there's a lot of things that I told. Sam, I'm trying to think who you've spoken to. So Sam I'll and Christina, to, but yeah, Sam, Christina, Cindy. I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, she was getting to the point where she was telling. You know, she had she hadn't really told anybody except for me and Nikki and Cassie prior to this weekend, and then this weekend she shared with um with Cindy. And yeah. Sam wasn't there. I Cindy and I clued Sam in on what was going on. When did she tell you that they're having started having struggles with their marriage? This was about two weeks ago. Um if you have her phone, our entire conversation I mean, we have a, a huge text string okay. about it. Um 
if you have her phone, you can pretty much see everything that she told me. I mean, there were things that we talked about one-on-one, too, but pretty much everything is in the, the messages. So when you guys would communicate, was it usually through text messages or over the phone? Text messages, mostly, and over the phone, and then we saw each other this weekend in person. Okay. Did she tell you anything in person that she didn't tell you over to text messages? Um... Uh, let me think. Yeah, about the about him cheating. This yep. was last. This was on Sunday night. Um, my flight got canceled, so I ended up. We ended up being there an extra night in Arizona. Um, we went out to dinner, and as soon as she walked in to meet me, she just looked very sad, and she said, "All right, tell me what you think of this." I found. Um, she said Chris went to a bit. He went to the baseball game with friends. Was that this the is Rockies what we told game? Her the Rockies game, yeah. So Chris told went her to he Rockies. went to the Rockies. Correct, with friends, a group of guys. Okay. And then he he was out late, and she knew this because she was communicating with the babysitter that he had hired to go out while you know she was away. So she was checking in with the babysitter. So she knew his timeline and when he got home and everything. So what he told her was that he went to eat. He went to get something to eat after. And he said he specifically told her that he had a beer and a salmon dinner. But the bill was $62. And she was very, she thought that that was a little suspicious. So she asked us what we thought. Do we... Do we think that salmon dinner and a beer could have could have been sixty two dollars, or was he with somebody? And she saw that it? on their bank accounts. I'm sorry. She saw that on their bank statements. Um, no, he actually told her what he what he spent, okay. and you know I think they just communicate like that about money because she handles everything in the mind because that's what I, I I was like why they said well it's kind of weird that he would just tell you exactly what he what he bought and she's like no he does that all the time like I kind of thought he was maybe justifying his what he had you know trying to cover up something and she said no it's not unusual for him to tell me because she just handles all the money and they're you know trying to watch their spending is how she explained it to Nikki and I um, and I said, well, I guess maybe he bought, maybe he bought one of the guys in a, a beer. Cause yeah, that $62 seems a little high for salmon and a beer. So maybe he bought somebody something, anyway, but she thought she was suspicious that he was out with, with somebody. Okay. Up until then, she's been like, we've all been like, there's no way she said, cause you <laughs> if you look through the text messages, she, I, when she first started telling me this, I was like, when she first started telling me about him not wanting the baby and him being weird to her and something's wrong, she couldn't figure it out. He wouldn't tell her what was going on except for it's nothing that you did, it's me. Um, and I said, you, go through his phone. <laughs> I'm like, go through his phone and see if he's talking to somebody. Um, and she said, he's, he's been deleting messages. Um, she said he was deleting, she told me in, via, she told me through a text that he was even deleting text messages with his dad because she had had a falling out with his parents. While she and, was in North Carolina? Yes. What was the falling out about? The falling out was about, um, she was out there visiting for four weeks. Both of their families are in North Carolina. She went and took the two kids out there, um, and Chris stayed home in Colorado, um, there was an issue with her, her youngest daughter has a severe tree nut allergy and Chris's mom had essentially exposed her to the tree nut allergy. Um, nothing happened, but she was very upset that she had put her in the position where, you know, she could have, um, it was it was pistachio ice cream, and she and the the 
Chris's mother gave the other one of the cousins pistachio ice cream and Cece was crying for it because she wanted it too and they had a falling out over that because you know Shanann felt that she should have you know chosen another flavor of ice cream to bring home to the house to to feed these kids so she so Shanann had, had a falling out with mom or dad well that was with mom I don't she loved her, Chris's dad um but I think I think the whole thing just escalated to both of the parents, um, both of Chris's parents just being upset with Shanann. And they didn't come to her birth. They didn't come to Cece's birthday party. Which was in it, North Carolina? Which was in North Carolina. Shanann threw a birthday party, and Chris's parents did not come because they were upset with Shanann. And they also unfriended them on Facebook, both of them, Chris and Shanann, and I think Chris was upset, and this is, I don't know this for a fact, these are all things I was like, well, maybe he's upset with you because of the falling out with your parents, and she said that he did feel that she caused the problem between him and his dad, and his dad is his hero. Dad is Chris's hero? Yes. And Chris felt Shanann caused the problem? I, I believe so, yeah. That's what Shanann felt. Shanann felt that Chris thought? Yes. Shanann felt that Chris felt that Shanann caused a problem between his dad. He specifically said his dad, but really, you know, both of his parents, but he's closer with his dad. I think he and his mom, you know, had had some issues along the way, too, but he was always close with his dad. And then Chris deleted his Facebook last Thursday. Were you friends with him on Facebook? Yes. And the way I know that he deleted his Facebook is because she texted me on Thursday, um, last Thursday, and said that she had suggested that they do a weekend together to help to, you know, center and work on things. And he and he said no at first, but then when they found out that the baby was a boy, he seemed to come around a little bit because he said he told she told me that he told her the only reason he wanted to get pregnant is because he really wanted a boy. Um, when they ended up finding out it was a boy, he seemed to like he was opening up with her a little bit. Um, things were getting a little bit better, um, so they were going to go w- away on a weekend together. So her, I remember her texting me and saying, one minute he's saying we're going to go on the weekend away together. The next minute he's shutting down his Facebook. And I was kind of, I didn't ask this. I wish I would have, but I was kind of thinking, well, what's the correlation in that? But I think what she meant was, you know, one minute he seems to be normal Chris, and then the next minute he's shutting down his Facebook, which is a strange thing to do particularly in our in our business, um, our social media is a huge part of what we do, and Chris is a part of that as well. As far as her business goes? Yeah. So it's it's a very strange thing to, to go off of. You know, it, it might not seem that way, you know, to some people, but just because of how relevant Facebook and social media is to our business. So when I asked, when I said, well, why did he delete Facebook? She said he just said he needed a break from it, which is, you know, a, not a, it's not the strangest thing, but it, he's never done that before. I've been friends with them for um, about three years. And you know, know her through her business? Is that how you guys met? I, yeah, we met. She's she's part of my she's part of my team in our company, um, and we've become really close friends. We've been on multiple trips together with him, with her and Chris. Um, hearing that he had been acting this way and that things were not good between them was a huge, huge shock to me. Two weeks ago, when she shared that, because they just seemed like the perfect couple and it seemed that he adored her 
but the things that he was saying, like he didn't want the baby, um, and that they, you know, they just, he, he, he said to her that they just don't communicate well anymore. And that it wasn't really anything specific that she did because we were trying to figure out because she's a really, really hard worker and she, we thought maybe it was because she was giving more attention to our, our business than to the relationship. And we thought maybe that was it. And he said, no, it's not that. He just, but he wouldn't say what it was. She couldn't get it out of him. Chris wouldn't tell her what was wrong with the relationship? As far as what she told me, that's right. She definitely seemed, um, she was very anxious to get home because she really wanted to get home and, and see how he was doing because before she left for Arizona was when he started to come around a little and seemed like maybe he was willing to work things out. And she told him that she didn't want to go to Arizona. She wanted to stay home and work things out with him. And he said, no, just go because she had the, you know, the kids by herself for six weeks. So he said, go, go ahead and get away. Um, plus it was a, it was a, a business training too, but you know, it was just something he was saying, you know, go ahead and go and enjoy yourself in the training and we'll talk when you get back. So she was really anxious to get back when all the bad weather was happening with the flights and everything. She was super nervous that she wasn't going to get back to, to be able to talk with him and work things out. And she was looking forward to this coming weekend when they were supposed to go away. Do you know where they're going to go? I don't, I, I don't think she ever specifically told me where they were going. And if she did, I, I just don't remember. She may have told one of the other girls. Did they so? Did she say what they're going to do with the kids? Um, I I believe Nikki was going to watch the kids. Okay. Is there anything? I'm not hundred percent on that. Okay. Is there anything else that stands out to you that you think I should know about? Um. I mean, that's the major stuff. I'm. Is there anything that you like? Is there any? Has do you guys have any idea what could have happened to her? Uh, as of right now, we don't. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know what's really relevant. She never would have left the kids' car seat, the kids, the Cece's medicine that she takes every day. She would never have gone off without it or her phone. But I, the phone, you know, maybe she needed to disconnect from the world. You could say that. But she would never, ever take those kids without everything that they needed. She's the best mom that I know. She's literally the most organized. You'll, if you were in her house, you, I'm, if you were in there, you know what I'm talking about. The most organized um, plan, planning everything there's no way that she would not have taken the car seats the medicine and you know packed for them if they were just gonna if she just was trying to get away okay. because I think that's what you know the other I don't I don't know what the alter what the different possibilities are but one would be that she just left and that and I and I I just can't see that being Anything that she would do, because um, I'm sure you can tell how many people love her. Um, but I don't think that that's, I know that she wouldn't leave their, the kids, the children's things. I just know. There's no way. Best mom. Okay. Best freaking mom. And he's, you know, he's been, always been a great dad. Like, this is why this is just so, um, it's just so alarming. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. 
I just hope that we find her. Well, we're doing everything we can to locate her. Okay, so um, has she officially been, I know that there was like the talk of it needs to be 24 hours of being missing, are we are we past that and actually filing a missing person? And so we've, we've been investigating it since we got the call. Uh-huh. So, um, and we're going to continue to investigate it. So, it, the 24 hours is kind of irrelevant because we are investigating it. Um, okay. We're just trying okay. to track down. She, you have no idea where she may go to? No, because the only place that I would, the, the only person that she really confided in was that lives there. I live in Maryland. Um, the only person that's local that she confided confided in that I know of is Nikki. Okay. So if and Nikki was the one that dropped her off from the airport. So if she was if she was needing to get out, she wouldn't call anybody else at two, two three, four in the morning other than Nikki because Nikki's already up. Right. So the but and uh, and other than that, I mean, I. I don't know where she would go. Because do you know if she had a lot of? Darker. Do you know if she has a lot of friends outside of your guys' business here? She does not. Um, she has. The thing about it is, she. They've lived in Colorado for a while, but not a super long time to where they've created a lot of friends. So most of the people that she is friends with has been um, through our business. Okay. So I'm not sure how long they've lived in Colorado. She, they're definitely not, like, new to Colorado or anything, but I know when we were planning, she and I planned a big um, event there for our company, and the I, I remember her saying, like, I just don't, have a lot of people here like her people are back in North Carolina where she's you know originally from she knows people through the school she's got a friend Amanda um, who used to be the um, director at the kids school um, she's friends she does a lot of play dates with different moms but it's no it's not a close friendship it's just um, you know, play dates and that kind of thing. And then there's um, another friend, Karen. Um, Karen Karen actually was with us in Arizona, too, but she's not one of our close friends, so we didn't really talk about... We didn't, not, we didn't talk about the Chris situation at all with Karen because she, she just didn't know. Okay. She lives in Colorado, too? I'm sorry, in Arizona with us. But, yes, Karen lives in Colorado. Um, but no close friendships. Um, Christina is one of Shanann's best friends, but she lives in Hawaii. Okay. If you um, hear from Shanann at all, um, try and figure out where she's at. Let her know that we're looking for her and for her to call us and that she's not in any trouble or anything. Um, and if you do hear from her, I want you to call us as well. You can just call that number that uh, you've been calling that we're playing phone tag on, that dispatch number. Yep. Um, of course, you, yeah. you can just call that because that, that number is answered 24-7. Okay. So uh, just continue to call that number with any information. Um, okay. If anything else comes to mind, give us a call. Um Something does come to mind. Um, Chris told me that the neighbor has a uh, security camera that is pointed, like, to their house. Okay. So that security camera, he, Chris had said that he, that they, I don't know who he meant by they, I don't know if he meant you guys or he and the neighbor, but he, he said that there was no sign of her coming or going per that video surveillance. So there could be you know, something that's on there that's definitely important and relevant if you don't have that already. Okay. All right, if you can think of anything else, just 
give us a give us a call, okay? Thank you for um, thank you so much for being on top of this. If yeah. you need anything, give me a call. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Addie, spell yeah. your last name for mm -hmm. me. It's it's Maloney M O L O N Y. Okie dokie. I appreciate it. And this is your Sorry, cell phone yeah. number, right? This is my cell. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.